Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So, I wanted to talk to you guys today about a project that I've been working on. It's uh, something for my race car. It's actually a shift light and a gear indicator. So, this project started life originally. Um, it was just meant to be only a shift light, nothing more. And I threw together this uh, this prototype here. So, this prototype works by intercepting the taco signal from the engine ECU. So, a 12 volt square wave comes in and goes into a voltage divider. Uh, a transistor here, this transistor picks up the reduced voltage from the voltage divider and uses this as a switching signal. And this then switches one of the digital pins from the Arduino to ground. And this is how I get my input signal for the shift light. Uh, it then will light up uh, an Adafruit LED strip, the NeoPixel strip, as needed. So uh, according to the RPM input from this taco signal, it will light up uh, an LED strip. It actually worked quite well, but I wanted to tidy things up a bit because, yeah, the prototype here is not so great visually. So I wanted to make a new version, and I also wanted to add a, I wanted to add a gear indicator to this as well. So this is where this one comes in. This is the new version, so the Mark II, and yeah, this also has the voltage divider transistor to pick up on the taco signal. And it also has a 16-bit shift register installed. And this takes the serial data from the Arduino and then uses this to switch on each one of these pins to activate the display. Uh, the gear position is taken from two potentiometers and is that is used as an input for the Arduino and the Arduino then calculates the gear position. Yeah, so uh, the circuit board I designed myself using a cool program called Fritzing. It's available online. I think you have to give a small donation to be able to download it, but it's not so much, and it's a really cool program. It uses an auto route function. So when you're designing the circuit board, you just select the components and the pins that need to be connected to one another, and then it uses an AI to actually route the tracks on the circuit board. Really cool stuff. So I designed this, and I got a few uh, test circuit boards printed. Uh, unfortunately, they weren't perfect. I made a mistake on them, and I set them up for a display with a common cathode, but I actually needed to run a display with a common anode, so I managed to modify the circuit board. You can see here, I actually just connected a wire on the backside between these to um, change this to a common anode. So basically, the the pin, the one pin that's connected all the time to either ground or plus. And in my case, I had a common anode, so it needed to be connected the whole time to plus. No problem, sorted that out. This works perfectly. Another interesting thing I did was here at the top, I added a photo uh, resistor. I added a photo resistor, and this is to control the brightness. So this has active brightness control as well. So when, for example, you drive through a tunnel or you're driving at nighttime, the brightness of the display and of the shift light will actually reduce. So it won't be won't blind you at night time when you're, when you're driving and it's quite dark outside. Yeah, works really well and now I'm actually on to the point of creating a case for it. I'm doing this on Fusion 360, also another very cool program. And uh, here, as you can see, here I've designed the case with a cover on the back. It will be held in place. There's also some shade for it there. And on the back, I've also marked the connections. 
And yeah, once my 3D printer arrives, I will 3D print this and get it mounted up. You can also see on the bottom, I've added a mount. And this actually fits to a GoPro mount, so just a standard GoPro mount. And then, yeah, then I have the ability with uh, really a lot of different mounting possibilities with this. So I can choose if I want to mount it to the dash or if I wanted to make some, I don't know, say for example, an attachment to a roll cage or something. I can take something that's already available for the GoPro and just mount it straight to that. Yeah, and this is my project. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for some more cool content.